All right, work-life balance. You guys wanna see what that looks like? It's hard, it's this, there's the work, there's the food, not the best thing, it's all we had time for, and then here's the big balance reason. Hi, Mikey. So while he's not screaming right now, he's given me a minute to reach out to all of you. Um, this article that I've shared, written by Sean Stewart, somebody I met at TL down in um, uh, Great Lakes, Cleveland, uh, team leader, awesome guy, Cleveland guy through and through, but he wrote this piece I wanted to share with you on work-life balance and how it doesn't exist. He says in it, it doesn't as if stop striving for it. Don't ever stop striving for it, right, Sean? I'll, I disagree with you there, but again, it does not exist, right? When we talk about balance, it's like this, right? We're never in complete balance. This is work on this side. This is life over here, and we're always going to be teeter-tottering like this. It's just that split second that it seems like we're balanced, and that's it. And then like, again, you're going to be putting too much time in work and then you have to run back and put too much more in your family. Right? Like Mikey, huh? Um, so the work-life balance, the big key is to know, right? What is acceptable and what's not? And what's the most important at that time? Because both can require it. Uh, and eventually you get to the point, that's the big goal, right? And if you continue here long enough, uh, you'll get to the point where you don't have to work anymore. Right. Then it's really key. Now there's still things to balance. Now it's health, relationship, family, management balance. Right. But that's the goal of, of me where I want to get to, where I, I'm enjoying to share with you guys, where you don't have to work anymore. Right now I get to work, which is fantastic. And wanted to share that with you guys. So let me know your thoughts. Right. Where is the biggest balancing issue you have? Right. Uh, different buckets, work, family, health, um, relationships, learning, education. There's so many different things, so many different hats that we all wear. Uh, I want to encourage you to continue to seek your balance. Uh, and what's fantastic is when you read in this article, he talks about the Matthew McConaughey speech about debits and balance, right? Make, make debit, or sorry, make credit, make credit, make credit, put credit, put credit in until your balance goes up high. And that way you can always take a withdrawal, right? But you never want to under and draw the important things, our health, our relationships, our faith, right? You never want to stop um, attempting to balance those. So the last thing I'm leaving you with is think about this, right? Uh, juggling. We're always juggling. I'm a father. Yeah? I'm a husband. I'm a brother. I'm a coach. I'm a mentor. I'm a cousin. I'm a family guy. I'm a coworker. I'm this. I'm all these different hats. Um, and I'm juggling them all at the same time. When I juggle my things like my health, my faith, uh, my relationship with my wife, my relationship with my kids, with my parents, those are glass balls. If I drop those, meaning I get out of balance with those, I drop those, they break. And if they break or they, they get scuffed, I pick them up, they're not the same. Something like work, there's always going to be work to do. There's always another job. There's always another project. There's always more that you can be doing. So really remember that, that there's always more that you can be doing work-wise and not, those are rubber balls. You drop those balls, they'll bounce back up. So Make sure you identify and know what are the glass balls, the ones you want to take care of. Hold those ones. Like his little glass ball head, right? I know, I love him. Um, I'm going to get back to him as he's fussing around. But thank you, guys. I'll see you next week. I hope this is helping.